Oh, I've just finished filming a sit down YouTube video. So I'm just popping something back in the dressing room. There we go. I feel like I've not brought you up here for a couple of weeks, but nothing's changed to be honest. But I wanted to ask your guys' opinion about this room. So top floor, obviously dressing rooms behind me. And then when we spin around here, we've got another room pretty much identical. It's a little bit smaller than the dressing room. If we go in here, what I'm thinking about this room, oh, it's very echoey. I'm just gonna step back. What I'm thinking about this room is because to be completely honest, guys, this is probably the only room in the house that we just do not know what we want to do with it because as I said when I filmed the house tour a month ago this is very much a house that we want to grow into but until we've done that growing a couple of rooms just don't really have functions and I'd rather have the room doing something that you know we can use rather than just sitting empty like this. So one thing I was thinking about doing is potentially turning this top floor room into an office for me. Honestly, when we moved into this house, I said I didn't need an office. I quite enjoy just sitting on the sofa when I need to do my editing and sitting at the kitchen island. I quite like just being in the social places of the house. However, the other day, when Andy was out for the day, he said, why don't you work in my office for the day and get your head down and yeah. I did some work in his office for the day and I was so productive and I loved sitting in there and just shutting the door on the rest of the house and it just being quiet. That's kind of what has made us have a bit of a conversation and think maybe we change this top floor room into a bit more of an office space where I can just go in, shut the door on the rest of the house and, and have a lot of like my work stuff living here. You know, like I have nowhere to just, as daft as it sounds, to keep my laptop and my notebooks and my stationery and my planning stuff. So yeah, we're kind of thinking, we're not gonna do anything too extravagant because as I said, it's not gonna be a permanent thing. So we won't be doing like built-in bespoke desks and bookshelves and things. It will probably be as much as an Ikea desk chair, maybe a little comfy sofa, something like that. But yeah, that's kind of what we're thinking for in there and I think it will work really well, especially going into the winter where I'm going to be probably doing a lot more admin -y bits and it definitely won't be as hot as well. So I'll probably spend a bit more time in there. So yeah, I've been looking on Pinterest for some inspo. Sorry about the echo in here, guys. But as you can see, there's nothing in here other than something to blow up an airbed. So I'm kind of thinking like maybe a desk here with nice chair and maybe just a comfy sofa with a rug maybe just a little coffee table you know just make it a nice space um, and Andy said as well he would put a tv up on the wall for me so I could have it just as a really nice quiet area where I can come in and just completely shut off the rest of the house and get my work done and then when I'm done at the end of the day I can just shut my door on it and it all just stays in there. So yeah, I think that's the route we're gonna go down. But as I said, it's not gonna be anything fancy. It's gonna be something that we can very much dismantle and change quickly if we need to. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if you've got any, maybe good, like some good home accounts with some inspo, if you've seen anyone with really cool, but very easy, like, affordable office setups let me know because i'm definitely looking for inspo when it comes to that room anyway i am about to leave now because oh my god my soul has just left my body oh my god i literally thought i'd just trod on a huge spider what the hell is that oh my god it's a little label off something i honestly just trod on that and thought i'd trodden a huge spider Honestly, my soul left my body. Anyway, I'm about to leave because I'm heading to, going to a couple of places, I think. I'm gonna try and go to HomeSense and Next Home because I have also made another house decision. 
And this is a decision that I didn't think I'd do, to be honest. Let's take you into the spare room. You might see some little sneak preview whoop, of some goodies down there. Had lots of house things arriving this week. She's very exciting. Um, one thing I've decided that I think I'm gonna do, and I've never done it before, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you because I feel like I can. I didn't used to get this when I saw people doing it on YouTube. I'd see people doing it and I'm not gonna lie, I'd think, what are you doing that for? What is the point? Didn't get it. And now I've got this house, I kind of get it and I kind of wanna just try it and just do it. So I'm gonna be decorating my house for autumn. And that sounds so weird to say because I am not into like pumpkins and orange and that kind of aesthetic. So I'm gonna try and do it, but try and do it my way. And yeah, do you know what it is? I really enjoy how the house feels and looks when it's decorated for Christmas. I can't wait to do Christmas this year in this house, but yeah, I just thought, you know what? I am just gonna try it. And if I like it, maybe it's something I'll do every year. If not, I'll never do it again. I'll probably sell all the stuff that I buy on Facebook Marketplace and we'll never speak about this again. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. So I'm going to Home Centre next home because I'm gonna go and look for things. I've ordered a couple of bits. One of them arrived this morning, which was very quick. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the kind of house, home, autumn decor kind of videos because I'm gonna be doing it this year. Um, yeah, but I just thought I'd put it out there that I never thought I'd be doing it. So yeah, you can call me a hypocrite. I accept I'm a massive hypocrite because I have said before, I don't get it and I won't do it. And now I'm doing it. So yes, I am a hypocrite, but you're gonna humor me and you're gonna say it's fine. Do what you like. <laughs> just giving you the tiniest sneak preview something that arrived this morning. Woo. I told you we had house purchases arriving this week. You might also notice a little addition over there. We now have a picture on the wall. This is actually um, old from Decenio. So I did actually have this in my dining room in the last house, but I just feel like I wanted to keep it because I love, 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 love the picture anyway. But I thought it actually goes quite nicely with like the whole vibe of this room. So that is now up. And another great update. We're finally getting our microwave oven. It's hopefully, fingers crossed, it's being fitted next week. It's finally arrived. Basically what happened was when we were designing and choosing everything for the kitchen, um, the oven that we chose, obviously the microwave oven is the same branding. Um, it, there was just no update on when it was actually, I, they were actually able to get hold of it. And we didn't want to go ahead and have a temporary one because they would just look really odd. So we thought, you know, what, we can go without a microwave for a while and um, we'll just leave it and wait. So thankfully it hasn't taken that long. So that's finally arriving um, next week, which will be good. I just quickly got changed into a t-shirt because I was filming in a blazer this morning because the weather's taken a turn. Can you see? I'm quite thrilled about it. It was a bit, uh, it was a bit cooler the last, the last day and it's been raining and it's made me really excited but the sun's just come out of nowhere and all of a sudden it's got quite hot so i have just shoved um, a t-shirt on it's actually the t-shirt that i showed you in my last vlog my new worst behavior one so i'm wearing this now and i'm on my way to i think i'm gonna go to next home first then i might have a little look in home sense to be honest with you guys, I'm going in blind. I've never done this before. I don't really have anything specifically that I'm looking for. I'm just kind of going to see what they've got. And if I see anything I like, I'll pick it up. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking this is too early. And honestly, I agree. In the way that kind of like YouTube works and the way I work with YouTube is I'm always thinking, about one month in advance when it comes to anything because I have to have time to make sure I've got everything prepped for maybe like a certain video. So for example, Christmas time when it comes to Vlogmas, I'm planning Vlogmas content towards the end of October, beginning of November because I have to logistically plan out in my head, is there anything that I need to get for these videos? When am I gonna film? When am I gonna edit? Because when do I want that video going live? So 
in my head I'm thinking if I want an autumn decor, I don't know, decorate with me for autumn video going up, that's probably going to be going up maybe like mid-September. So now it's like mid-August. I need to actually go and get the stuff because I do need time to physically film the video as well. So yeah, I can completely appreciate this probably feels like a couple of weeks too soon. But this is the stuff I vlog guys, I, have, I vlog my life. So at the moment my life is planning autumn content now. Um, which just gets me really excited. So yeah, I hope you don't mind a little bit of early, just a little sprinkle little sprinkling of autumn i also feel like i've got loads like literally loads to fill you in on but i don't just want to sit here and dump everything on you so i'm trying to keep some bits to myself and yeah so a couple of things that are going to be happening over the next few weeks number one decorating is officially starting there's going to be a lot more house content over the next few weeks in the next vlog um we're decorating basically it's all happening so if you're looking forward to the house content the next vlog you're gonna really love so yeah that's all happening I've also got Andy's birthday in uh, a couple of weeks so I've been kind of like organizing and planning you know fun things for that I just feel like it's all go 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 at the minute if I'm not working my free time is spent doing stuff with the house and then there's just other exciting things going on as well which I I know it sounds really like trivial. It's so annoying when people are like, eh, I can't tell you what's going on. It's nothing like exciting to do with work. It's more exciting to do with like my personal, like personal life, exciting things. Yeah, it's just, it's all happening at the minute and I'm really excited for the next few weeks to be able to share a bit more with you. But for now, autumn decor, that's today's mission. Let's go and see what they've got. Okay, so heading into next home and I spotted a little section towards the back of like autumn bits but before I got there I did notice a few nice like faux, faux like foliage, faux flower um, bouquets, also spotted these like faux kind of autumnal leaf bouquets and they also did have a few of their winter candles in. If you've not tried the next winter candles or the rediffusers try them they smell incredible so i was quite surprised to see the winter ones in already and then the autumn section i'd say it was more halloweeny vibes to be completely honest lots of pumpkins lots of like uh halloweeny ghosts and bats and things like that there was this little um potpourri bowl and it the smell of it was so nice i really did like the smell I just wasn't a fan of kind of like the Halloween vibes of it. Also spotted these Hello Pumpkin oven gloves, which I thought were quite cute. And then they also had like the matching um, set of three tea towels to match. 14 quid, which I thought wasn't bad for three. And I feel like they have something like this every year. The Hey There Pumpkin doormat, which I thought was quite cute. And then here were some wax melts. These smelled so good. They were like pumpkin, ginger spice, really, really lovely smelling, but I just didn't like the fact that they were ghosts. They also had these really cute little pots for cooking. Was really quite tempted to get this because I just thought it was so sweet. Um, I kind of wish I'd picked that up now. They had like various shapes, sizes, colours, also had them in orange as well. And then they had this cute little hay there pumpkin pillow. There were just a lot of pumpkins, like so many pumpkins. How cute are these little salt and pepper shakers? Oh, they're so, so cute. And then they also had various like mugs and serving jugs which I thought were quite cute. I hadn't seen things like this um, around before, so I did quite like that. Again, more like pumpkin mugs. They had little ramekins for cooking. They also had um, this pumpkin hand towel, which I thought maybe that could be quite cute in the downstairs loo. And again, lots of like ghosts and things like that. Next done, 
Um, it was okay. I feel like it's probably a bit too soon to be going in there. Their little like display thing was only little. And to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of um, a, like some of the stuff. It was more Halloween more than autumn, if that makes sense. Like I don't want to be hanging up ghosts and things in my house do you know what i mean that's not the vibe i'm going for and i also don't want 50 million things that just say hello pumpkin on them i know it's just such a cliche thing i know that most things are probably going to be more like that but that's just not my thing personally i just don't want hello pumpkin all over the house so there were some cute little bits don't get me wrong um the wax melts smelled incredible but again I don't want like bats and ghosts and things like that. That's not the vibe I'm going for. And you know, like the tea towels and the oven gloves, they were cute, but could I find better? Probably. So I didn't pick anything up, but I've just pulled up at home since. So it's just behind me. I'm gonna pop in and see what they've got going on in there. Okay, so as soon as I went into HomeSense, immediately noticed there was so much more to choose from literally whatever your kind of vibe is i feel like they had something for you they had so much variety to choose from they had a lot more like autumn based things as opposed to just halloween as you can see by this candle they obviously still had loads of pumpkins various colors shapes sizes it was still pumpkin heaven but i do like how they had an array of just more autumnal based things as well i was really um quite nicely surprised when i walked in I thought these um, little acorns were really sweet and I'm really annoyed at myself. I don't know why I didn't pick these up. But yeah, as you can see, they've got lots of like kind of woodland, rustic-y based things. I was really, really impressed. Then behind me, they obviously had a lot of like the Halloween stuff, which wasn't really interesting to me. So I stayed over in this section and I was kind of sucked in by the candles. The candles just smelled incredible. I loved the look of this one, this salted pumpkin candle. I thought that was really, really nice. They had, honestly guys, they had so many candles to choose from. I was really in my element. Again, with the candles, I felt they had so many different colours, depending on what your vibe is. I loved this candle. Look at that with a little leaf and a little acorn on it. I thought that was just so nice. I had a few candles that looked like that, actually. They were really cute. And then look, little autumnal napkins. This is the kind of stuff that I just find really, really cute. They had various different designs on there. And then look at these little gold pumpkin candles. How sweet are they? They had those in a few different colours as well, but I thought the gold was particularly quite nice. And then I went to the other side of this section and there were more candles. Honestly, when I say so many, there was just so many. And I had these cute ones with these um, little like slogans on, which I thought were quite nice. I was kind of liking them for maybe like the home office vibe. And then they also had these Halloween based ones. I quite like the green Wicked one, just because I'm a big fan of Wicked. But yeah, if Halloween is your thing, I thought these candles could look quite cute. And then a trip to the syrup section. If you're a fan of the home sense syrups for your coffees, for your hot drinks, you need to head there now. I've never seen the shelves so full. They had so many different flavours. Caramel, cheesecake, pumpkin, cinnamon roll, just all the autumnal goodness for this time of year. Okay, I feel like Home Sense was a little bit more successful. I will show you what I've bought when I get back. Oh God, that sun's come out now, it's so hot. I'm glad I got changed out my blazer. 
Jeez. So I'll do a little haul when I get back. I've got a few little bits and bobs. I also realized it's actually Bolly's birthday this week. Can you believe Bolly is a whole one year old? So yeah, Bolly's first birthday, bless him. So I popped into Pets at Home really quick as well and obviously got him and Desi a few uh, new little toys, which I'm sure they're gonna love. So yeah, I'm gonna get back home now. I'll show you what I've got when I'm home. So for Mr. Bolly's birthday, and obviously Desi can't be left out, can she? We've got a rabbit, we've got a fox, and then in Home Sense, I found this toy. So it's called a burrow toy. So inside here, oh my gosh, there's three of these like squeaky ladybirds. So they obviously try and pull them out and because Desi is obsessed with pulling the stuffing out of her toys, I thought this kind of toy would be really great for her. But it's the birthday boy's time, isn't it? Say please. Desi will say please. Say please. Yeah, that's for you. Desi, you say please. Oh, say please. day this room doesn't echo it's so annoying when i'm filming and so yeah i thought i'd quickly show you what i bought from home sense i was really impressed with their candle selection right and i feel like home sense is one of those places it's really hit and miss you've got to grab stuff while you see it because i can guarantee you'll go again it won't be there so let me show you my array of autumn candles that i picked up okay so first of all these two I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of sold these on what they look like because they're just so cute. How lovely is the packaging on this candle? I love the little pumpkins there, so cute. The brand is DW Home. A lot of their candles are really nice actually. And this is just the pumpkin spice. So yeah, as you can imagine what it probably smells like. Pumpkin spice really nice and then another one from the same brand is this one the apple honey butter and that one's got little apples on it i thought this was so sweet and then another one from the same brand was this one fall foliage and again i, I just love the color of the actual candle itself this one smells a lot lighter more fresh than the others I like pumpkin spice, don't get me wrong, but sometimes, you know, like pumpkin spice candles can be really intense and really strong. It's not my favourite fragrance, to tell you the truth, so I thought this one was really, really nice. And then again, from the same brand, DW Home, I told you their candles are lovely. I just got this one, a little vanilla pumpkin. It's got a little pumpkin on the lid as well. Again, this one's a little bit lighter than, like, pumpkin spice. Yeah, it just smells a little bit more fresh. I like it. And then last candle, I promise, is this one. I don't think, is this one from DW? Yeah, this one's from DW Home as well. And it's just autumn morning. And that one is just really light, really fresh smelling. So yeah, I've got a nice little array of candles. Oh, just love the colour of that one. How gorgeous is that? And then I also picked up a little pumpkin. So they did have quite an array of pumpkins. They had obviously classic just orange pumpkins. But yeah, I just wasn't feeling having lots of just orange. I don't mind a little bits here and there, but I don't want my house just to be full of orange pumpkins, if that makes sense. So I've got this guy. Um, it is hard, but I thought he'd just look quite nice, maybe chilling on, maybe even chilling on this windowsill back here. I thought he was really nice. So yeah, those are my little bits that I picked up from HomeSense. I am gonna probably have another trip there, like a bit closer to the time of when I actually decorate. I might also have maybe a little trip to the garden centers maybe over the next couple of weeks, just to see what they've got. But in other news, my coffee table has arrived in the living room, so it's no longer bare and just 
containing two sofas. So I'm going to take you in and show you because I am so, so pleased with it. I love that the first thing you see when you go into our living room is one of the dog toys on the floor. Just sums, sums up my life, but if we go in here, here's the coffee table. I'm so pleased with it. How nice does it look in here? Obviously, of course, you've had to come in to show your face. I am so pleased with it. I think it looks so lovely in here. So I didn't want to go for like a regular sort of like wooden coffee table um, because basically we're going to have a sofa and a coffee table in the back room. And realistically, we're going to use the coffee table in the other room more um, because we'll probably actually have drinks and maybe food in there. Whereas in here, this coffee table isn't going to be used to actually, you know, put coffee on. It's more just to fill the space and to be more, you know, a look at me <laughs> coffee table. Has still got the tag on. Obviously, we've got stuff in here from the dog's new toys. Can't help yourselves, can you? Have you even noticed there's anything new in the room? No. Look at them. Couldn't give less of a damn if they tried. <laughs> Um, I think I meant, I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but yeah, I'm going to film like a homeware haul so that basically the new house purchases um, are all just in one vlog, not one vlog, one like video, like a haul video so that um, if you are interested in where anything's from, at least you've just got that video to reference back to because I know I'll show you things in the vlogs, but it's hard to remember what I've spoke about in each vlog. Um, like for you guys so yeah I'm gonna do a um, haul video that will be going up on my channel after this video really so I have had lots of other bits arrive but don't think I'm gonna show you all of them in this video so you have to wait and watch the haul very very pleased with this um, it's from a brand called can't remember if I'm saying this right. I think it's La Residence. Might have just butchered that. I'll link it in the description box. Um, but yeah, I did search for quite a while for something like this. Um, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put maybe not like a nice wooden tray on there so that I can have like a nice vase, maybe a book, a candle, that sort of thing, just to really, um, jazz it up and style it. I'm very excited to have this room feeling a little bit more finished. Yeah, it's gonna be nice and cozy in here when it comes to the autumn. Okay, I have just had a little play around with the coffee table and styled it up a little bit. So as you can see, I feel like that looks so lovely. Sorry about the light, but it's getting dark now, but I've just popped on um, a nice wooden tray. This is um, a new one from, it's probably like a little business that was on eBay. And um, this probably won't be the permanent setup, but I've just popped on a couple of coffee table books, one of my new candles from today, um, this vase, which is old, and I can't think for the life of me where it's from. Oh, no, I can't, it's H&M Home. And then just a bit of a faux eucalyptus. And I'm actually quite impressed, considering I didn't think I'd be styling it up tonight. I've just grabbed whatever we've got. I thought that looks really, really nice. Really like brings the room together and just makes it feel just that little bit more finished. Is this what you would like? The rough day Chardonnay, sir, madame? Who's going to try? You, sir? Okay, have a little sip. Yummy. Yeah, you like that? Mmm. Would you like some madame to try? Just a sip. No, Chardonnay is not your thing. <laughs> oh dear. She doesn't like Chardonnay. Chardonnay. All for you then, sir. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, absolutely not. I'm a champagne drinker. Get that Chardonnay away from me.